What's up guys, we're back with another insane video. I've mentioned this in a former video, but we're opening first edition elemental energy. This is going to be an absolutely crazy opening. So I mentioned in the mail day that this was a hobby box, but I forgot that in Europe, there are no hobby and retail. So this is just a European first edition box. So you can get any ultimate rare. So there's a huge pool of ultimate rares. You can get the good ones, you can get the bad ones. It's going to be interesting. They also have some good retail ones in here as well. So there's a lot of good options. So I'm pretty excited about this opening. This was sent by a viewer, which is just amazing. I'm really happy that he sent this in to be open because I've never opened Elemental Energy, especially with a chance to pull Ultimate Rare Shining Flare Wingman, which is like a very, very expensive card. Like we're talking 10,000 plus if it gets a 10. So we're going to have the potential to open that. But before that, the giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a couple of ultra rares from Legacy of Darkness. We've got an LON Dark Spirit of the Silent with the black text. So it's a pretty cool misprint that happened on, I think, all or most of the cards. So it's not that unique, but it's pretty cool. All you have to do to enter that giveaway, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from Elemental Energy. And let's get into the opening. I also wanted to mention that after this booster box, after the first 11 sets, so I've opened all but Invasion of Chaos first edition there. The only ones I've not opened from GX and the uh, kind of middle sets like Rise of Destiny and all that stuff, I've not opened Flaming Eternity first edition. I haven't opened this set, which we're about to open. I haven't opened Power of the Duelist, and I haven't opened Light of Destruction. After that, I've opened every single GX set and those middle sets. So there's four more sets. We're about to knock one out here, which is pretty crazy. We're getting close to opening all of those. Let's go ahead and start and open this thing. Let's not take too long. Okay, so let's check out the box. See, in Europe, I think it was kind of normal to have this weird circle on the sides. So some are smaller and some are, are bigger, but yeah, that's just a European thing. Here's the, uh, I guess, European code. And let's go ahead and crack it open. And another thing to note about these uh, European boxes as we cut through this. Oh, we did it. Oh my goodness. Let's get him something good. Is the Ultimate Rares look amazing? So we're hoping to get a good one because they have a really awesome texture. Oh wow, this is this is painful. Oh my goodness, such an expensive box. Sent in by a viewer named Fiche on Instagram. You guys can go check him out over there. Give him a follow and thank him for uh, letting us open this up on the channel. Here we go. Let's get this box open. How are the packs looking? Oh yeah, they're looking good. That European crimp. So we, oh, that's a very painful sound. Okay. So some people will be mad at me for folding the box, but I feel like you got to. It's kind of required. All right, so the European packs have these interesting crimps. They're a lot different than the United States crimps, but it uh, doesn't really mean anything. So let's go ahead and start opening this thing. What I would love to see is a Shining Flare Wingman. There's also, of course, the Elemental Hero Tempest. There's Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. I think there's another Elemental Hero. is the fourth Ultra Ulti, which is basically it comes as a regular Ultra, and it also comes as an Ulti. So... Um, that's a thing with the early GX sets. They had Ultra Ultis, Super Ultis, Rare Ultis, stuff like that. Okay, first pack. There should be... We should probably mix these up, to be honest, because they end up being mappable. I don't know if it's the truth of European, but let's mix them up after this pack. All right, a lot of cards we probably have not opened much on the channel here because we don't open much Elements Energy. It's a very rare set. Familiar Possessed Asa. We got Azure, Knight of the Dark World. Dark World Lightning. A lot of Dark Worlds in here. Pretty cool. Oja Magic. And a Chthonian Alliance. So this is just like right in the heart of GX. Like all these nostalgic GX cards. So it's really cool. All right, let's 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 go ahead and shuffle these up real quick. Just so we don't end up mapping together real quick. All right, there we go. Let's do something like that. Quick shuffle. Just played some goats yesterday. So my shuffling game is a little bit, uh, you know, it's, it's been practiced up. We got to we touch it up a little bit. Okay. What can we pull? Oh. What is this? What? <laughs> What can we pull here? These are a little bit harder to open than the uh, North American packs. Here we go. Let's scoot this over a little bit. Another familiar possess Asa. Make sure you, if you guys are enjoying the video, subscribe because we're going to have more epic openings like this in the future. Hopefully more GX, more originals. Chthonia Palmer. That's the one I forgot. Elemental Hero Wild Edge. That is a really good pull. That is a huge pull. I forgot about this one. I think the centering is a little bit off. But wow, check out that card. Look at those level stars. That is a huge pull. Okay, the centering is not amazing. 
it's not horrible so it's not the worst i've seen wow that's a nice card oh my goodness the back definitely has that imprinting on it i think that happened a lot with the european ones wow that's a really nice card oh my goodness he's gonna be happy about that one elemental hero wild edge personally one of my favorites i really like this card i think it's cool wild heart and blade edge i mean those are two of the most underrated elemental heroes whoa that's a huge pull guys that came like i did not expect that to have a pack in or to have a hollow in there an absolutely massive ultimate rare pull one of the best cards you can pull out of here i don't know oh, there's a wild heart look at that i don't know what the actual value i just picked up the whole common pile and put it in there I don't know what the value is, but I'll pop it up on screen. And since it's probably like a PSA 9, I'm going to try and get a PSA 9 price if I can find one. I originally had a couple of PSA 9s of that. I sold them. They were the North American prints. They weren't the European. The European just looks amazing, guys. Okay. So we've already got an ultimate rare. There should be two in this box, theoretically. So we'll see. Okay, Bonding H2O. We've got a non-fusion area. Nano Breaker. That's a cool card. Ooh, a Cyberblader. That's a pretty cool card. Very uh, iconic anime card. Very shiny. Look at that. Wow, look at that shine. Look at that. If you guys know what that's from, uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Cyberblader. Oh, my goodness. So shiny. That looks amazing. Man, these European cards are just awesome. So, yeah, I'm not going to leave that on screen, but that's a pretty cool one. What an amazing pull. I cannot believe we pulled a Wild Edge. That's so good. So, some other good ones besides the Ultra Rares. Uh, you can get Water Dragon in here, which isn't that expensive, but it just looks amazing in Ultimate Rare. So I think he would be happy with that one. Um, not in terms of monetary value, but just how it looks. It just looks really good. All right, and then of course, the I didn't mention, a lot of people said, you didn't mention the Knights, so like Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight. Um, I thought we couldn't get them in here in Ultimate Rare because I thought it was a hobby box, but because it's European, you can get them because they're just regular rares. So those are really nice as well. Gateway to the Dark World. We got a Blade Skater. Nano Breaker. And a Rapid Fire Magician. I actually pulled this in Ultimate Rare in a battle against Yugi Mo. One of our I think our first battle ever. And speaking of Yugi Mo, the very first card I sold him was a Jax Knight Ultimate Rare and engraved a PSA 10. I sold it to him for like $18. So he can go ahead and thank me for that in the comments. <laughs> okay. Next back. A lot, a lot of memories from Elemental Energy, and I've never actually opened a booster box, so it's kind of funny. I I'm trying to remember, this was around the time I quit, with Soul, uh, Shadow Infinity Elemental Energy era. So I don't know if I ever got any packs of this or not, but it was around then. We got a non-fusion area. We got a Dark World Lightning. Infernal Incinerator. The Bonding H2O. And Brow the Huntsman of Dark World. I remember I had an Ultimate Rare Unlimited to one of this, and it was like a mint condition, but I didn't grade back then, so probably should have graded it, but it's really cool. Okay, one of my that's one of my best... Um, GX pulls ever. So we got Flame Wingman is probably that and Rainbow Dragon are my top GX pulls. And then that one's right right near it. BW Tiger Catapult. We got a Gateway to the Dark World. Chthonium Palmer. Non-Fusion Area. And Silva Warlord. Yeah, these these um Dark World cards look incredible in Ultimate Rare, especially Euro. Really, really good. Okay, next pack. We've only opened a few packs. We've already pulled fire. This is gonna be a longer video. I'm kind of taking my time here. Uh, I'm just really excited about this one because of the potential. There's a huge potential cards in here. We've already pulled one of them, so it's really awesome. Infernal Incinerator. We've got a win. Gateway of the Dark World. Scar. Scout of Dark World. Man, there's a lot of them. And a Chthonian Soldier. So we got the uh, the Chaz Princeton cards. Hydra Get On. Comes in Super Rare and Champion Pack. <laughs> we remember, if you guys remember when I pulled four of them in one box, you guys can check that out. That was crazy. Not really that what we wanted, but it was like the worst super, but we kept pulling it. Oh, these are ripping really weird. Kind of ripping up the packs. Try not to, you know, most important thing when you open a pack, don't damage the cards. Secondly, you want to retain, you know, keep the pack in shape. But if you can't, you can't. Oxy get on. We get a bonding H2O. The good thing is if we do get an ultra, it's going to be a good card because all the ultras are cool. Uh, zero, but sometimes you don't get them in GX boxes. Chthonium Blast. Okay, that's actually a pretty good card, I think. I think Chaz would use that in in uh, Duel Links at the, like, just the NPC character of him. And it was, like, his best card or something. Okay, we only have two foils so far. We should get six to seven, I think. Reborn Zombie. We got to win. It's Cyber. Dark World Lightning.
<laughs> the Ultra Rare Elemental Hero Wild Edge. Two of them in one box. The centering on this guy is great. Oh, wow. If that's not a PSA 10, then I don't know what to say because centering is really good on this guy. Super clean foil. Um, the back looks really clean. Yeah, this should be a PSA 10 Ultra Rare. Um, they tend to be a lot, you know, easier to grade as Ultra Rares because they don't have the stamps on the back from the Ultimate Rare. And then for some reason, the centering tends to be better. Like, I don't know why. At least in my experience, which is a very small sample size. I know that my, me opening like 10 boxes out of the million they printed or whatever it was is not that high, but I'm just kind of giving my experience with it. And you guys can, can chime in if you've ever opened these in the comments. We can gather a little bit larger of a sample size. Okay. So far, three foils. We've already got two Wild Edge. This is the Wild Edge box. That's awesome. I feel like it's common to pull the same ones because if you guys remember when we pulled uh, Flame Wingman, we got an Ultra Rare and Ulti out of the Lost Millennium. You guys are going to go check that out. Check that video out. It was good. OG Magic. We've got a Reborn Zombie. Oxy Get On. Cool card. Elemental Hero Blade Edge. So we've gotten the Blade Edge and the Wild Heart so we can make our Wild Edge that we pulled. Super Rare. How's this guy look? This guy's probably maybe even worth grading even in Super Rare. I bet somebody would be interested in this. And like a cheaper PSA card. Centering looks good. I bet this one can grade a 10 as well. Very strong. I love Blade Edge. I think Blade Edge looks... He's underrated. He looks good. And a Wild Heart in the same pack. So that's really cool. I like this set. This set is straight up just... You watch the GX TV show and you buy this pack. You're like, oh, this is awesome. I got all the cards from the, you know, the show. It's pretty cool. Okay, we've already pulled four foils. So I'm guessing there's nothing on this half. But you never know. We might have a crazy box. We got a Blade Skater. We got an OG Magic. And a King's Knight. They're the ones you guys love. We finally pulled a King's Knight. There's Jack's Knight. And there's Queen's Knight as well. This is like Return from a Different Dimension, but like slightly different. That's weird. It looks like the same art almost. Just different monsters. Okay, last pack on the right side. I'm definitely going a little bit slower on this one. But they are, well, first of all, not my cards. So I sent this box to open. Legendary move by Fiche. And so far, I think we've pulled him from pretty good stuff. I'm pretty happy for him so far. Here we go. We got a feeler. Feeler. <laughs> Familiar Possessed Hita. Dark War Lightning. Oja Magic. BW Tiger Gannibal. And the Feather Shot. Yeah, see, like, that's the kind of ultimate rare you could get. I bet that actually looks really good in ultimate, though. Bran the Branch. All right. Second half of the box. Potential ultimate rare in here. Oh, my goodness. If we get double ultra ulti. Okay, and so Blade Edge, that's another option. That would be crazy Ultimate Rare. That'd be awesome. We might get a Retail Ultimate Rare, though. Who knows? Awesome. Because that's kind of what happens with the Rise of Destiny once you get one Hobby, one Retail. So I don't know if that's how this works. Hero Barrier, that's actually not an expensive ulti, but definitely a cool-looking one. I do like that one. Whew. 11 packs left, guys. This is such a great opening. This is such a fun opening. Opening these just packs you never get to see open. Very exciting, so I'm very thankful that he sent this box in to, to let me do this. Infernal Incinerator. So make sure you thank him in the YouTube comments or on his Instagram. Zero Knight of Dark World. And the Jax Knight. There he is. The Jax Knight. There you go. yu gi -Oh, Right there. And Hydra Get On. And Beige. The Beige. Is Rainbow in here? I remember the first time I saw Rainbow. It was before I'd seen the show. Or like ever heard it pronounced. I was like, what does this say? <laughs> Reborn Zombie. Familiar Possessed win. Chthonian Palmer. Oh. Oh, that's super cool. Silva Warlord of Dark World Ultimate Rare. Okay, it's a little bit off center like the other one. Oh my goodness, check that out. That is beautiful. I think that's a super rare, right? Or no, this is a rare actually. This is a rare. Wow, that's so awesome. Check that artwork out, guys. This is a really cool card. So check the back. Yeah, probably a PSA 9 once again on the Ultimate Rare. But talk about an epic card. I'm a big fan of this. Overall, I'm hyped about this box so far. So we've pulled two Ultimate Rares. That means we probably don't have another one. But I'm also, I mean, you never know. You could have something else. So we're just going to keep trying. We have pulled, what, two Supers? So we still definitely have Supers left. Yeah, so it looks like... Maybe European, is it always one hobby, one retail? I think that might be the, the case, which is actually way better of a way to do it because you have a chance in every box. Nano Breaker, Reborn Zombie, 
And a Queen's Knight, we hit the trio. Very nice, Oja Muscle. And Familiar Possess, Area. Is it Area? Area? Area, I feel like, is not right. The A-E-R-A. -E I mean, A-R-E-A -E is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying, but it's not really working. Zero. Chthonian Palmer. Oja Magic. Oh, there it is, the Water Dragon. All the ones I've mentioned we pull. What is that? What is this crap on it? Printing, what is that junk? They got like dust on it and printed it into the card or something. But wow, check that out. Okay, I def okay. I was definitely around back in the day because I had I had a water dragon. I remember it now. Okay, I was around for Elemental Energy. It's weird how you forget stuff and then you see a card and you're like, definitely had that. I remember loving this one. Even not an ulti, this looks freaking awesome. Yeah, that's so crazy. Okay, next pack. Is, is there, I mean, what's left in this box? We pulled all the great stuff. It's so awesome. Wow, what a box, guys. We pulled an Ultra Ulti. We got a Hita, Tiger Catapult, Zur, Blade Skater, and there's Silva. Yep, Silva, Warlord of Dark World. Man, he looks so much better in Ulti. Like, it's so much better. Okay. What else can we pull in here? Non fusion area. Nano Breaker. Bonding H2O. Scar Scout of Dark World. And Brow, Huntsman of Dark World. W Wing Catapults and the Forces. Here we go. Last few packs. Can we pull something else? Crazy. Pretty awesome box so far, I'd say. Pretty awesome box. You're not guaranteed to get an Ultra. Uh, you won't always get two ultis, and we did, and two of, both two really good ones. One amazing one, and one really cool looking one. It's a little cyber. It's, how do you say that? Jack's Knight again. Cool. Simultaneous loss. Wild Edge and Forces of Darkness. Getting close to the end of this epic opening, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe. We have some more epic openings coming up. When? <laughs> when? When do we have more epic openings? Got Zer, Incinerator. Gateway to Dark World. Ooh, VW XYZ Dragon Catapult. Man, every card in here is cool. Like straight out of the anime. I'm telling you guys. Super rare. How's the condition on this one? Looks pretty good. There's no uh, dust <laughs> printed into the card, so that's cool. Okay, very nice. Branch and boss. Okay, what do we have? Three packs left? Three packs left. Let's do this. Can we pull something big? Let's do it. Let's pull another foil blade skater. Reborn zombie. Player possess also. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Feather shot. This is a tiny set, I think. We pulled a lot of the same cards, like a lot. <laughs> we pulled that weed out card so many times. Two more packs, guys. Do you believe there's anything left? I'm guessing no, but you never know. VW X VW Tiger Catapult, not XYZ. We already pulled that. Bonding H2O for Sebastian. Nano Breaker. We got a Chithonia Palmer again. Rabbit Fire Magician again. Area. And oh, League of Uniform Nomenclature. If we pull that much, I guess we have right before Wildheart. Final pack in this insane European elemental energy box. This was so much fun. Thanks again to Fiche for sending it in. Wow, I'm so glad we pulled him some good stuff too. Can we pull something in the last pack? We've got a non fusion area. Scar Scout of Dark World. Familiar Possessed Asa. Oxy Get On. And Chthonian Blast. Okay, nothing in the last pack. But wow. What a box. Let's go over what we got. Out of the box, we got the best possible ratio of seven foils, unless there's some sort of error or something. We got one, two, three, four supers. All pretty iconic ones from the uh, from the anime. Pretty cool stuff. So let's get that in the frame there. Wild Edge, beautiful ultra rare. Silva, Warlord of Dark World, ultimate rare. That looks amazing. And of course, the ultimate rare, elemental hero, Wild Edge. That was absolutely crazy, guys. Seven foils. Um, I would say he definitely did not get his value back because this box is super rare, but this is definitely one of the best cards you can pull. So I'm sure he's pretty excited about it. Thanks again for sending it in, Fiche. I really enjoyed opening it up. It was pretty awesome. If you guys did, make sure to leave a comment down below, say thank you. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! <laughs> Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh! <laughs>